What is up guys, Dane again. Now today I'm gonna to show you how to set up Facebook's business manager and ad accounts. And at the end of the video, that's where I'm really gonna show that stuff. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit. Now, I do teach an in-person Facebook ad class um, at a local store. And I actually get this question pretty frequently from a lot of business owners. It's usually like, you know, Dane, why do I need a Facebook ads manager? Why do I need a Facebook business account? Can I just keep on boosting from my, you know, like from my normal business page? Yes, you can, but here is the benefits, okay? I like talking benefits, and this is the big benefit. First off, when you pull your business page into Facebook Business Manager, you're actually allowed to assign different people to work on it. And that's really nice. So say for example, you don't want to be the one person, um, you know, working on the business page and you want one of your employees to do so, but you also don't want to give your employee, um, you know, your, your personal Facebook login. That's not cool. You can actually assign people and at different, um, I guess, strengths, the uh, strengths is probably a bad word, but at different levels of authority on it. So they can be just doing you know, analysis or they can be an admin. Just make sure you uh, be careful who you're giving that admin privilege to because they can kick you out. Now, that's about just talking about business manager. The next thing we're talking about is setting up a Facebook ads account. And this is why you should. To me, the biggest benefit of an ads account is that you can actually switch pages. Now, let me say that again, because it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's something that I've realized. Um, when you have a Facebook ad account, one thing you can set up is the pixel, and that's great. Now, say you have a personal, like a personal brand page, and then your business page. You can have one ad account that sends ads to either this one or that one, instead of having two separate ones. Furthermore, you can collect the pixel data between both of them. Now, to me, that already is like, oh, okay, well, I'll do that. Another huge benefit of having an ad account is that you can link up a separate credit card. Now, when you are running a business page without an ads account, you're running through your person, it's called your personal ad account. And it's not bad, it's just that means you're running it through your personal ad account. Now, what happens if you want someone else to run ads for you, like an advertiser, a social media marketer, or even just an employee of yours? Well, that's where you want to think, okay, do I want to give this person my, um, you know, my login information for my personal Facebook account? No. That's why you create an ads account. And you can also let people access that ads account as well. That way um, you can have them be like an editor, an admin, a page analysis, an advertiser. That way, say if you're farming out your, ad, your social media marketing, you can go ahead and do so without giving up the whole reins, if that makes sense. Furthermore, you can have one ad account send ads to any number of business pages. So say for example, uh, you have a public brand, you know, like, like say if you have a personal brand page, some influencers do, and then you have your business page. Um, what you could do is you could actually use that one ad account for both pages. And you can also get pixel data from both of those. I'll be doing a video later about setting up the pixel and all the wonderful things it can do for you. But with that being said, let's go over to the computer and go ahead and show you how to set up a business, a business manager and a Facebook ads account. Hey everyone, Dane again. Now before we can start running proper Facebook ads, we have to make sure we set up a business account. So in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to set up your business manager and your ads account manager. Now we're already familiar with what Facebook looks like right now. And I know if you do go to your pages section, you can, pro you can do some advertisements there. However, this is kind of like playing with um, plastic tools. You can do some work, but you're not doing the really heavy duty stuff. So, let me show you where you need to go. You want to go up here to business.facebook.com and you'll be greeted by a nice little page like this. And all you simply do is you go up to this blue button and click create account. Now, you have either two options. You can either create the account or log in. It's the same thing. You just simply log into your Facebook account, your personal one. Since I already have a Facebook account, I would just click log in. If you haven't, just create new account. And boom. Now, right off the bat, you're going to notice that my page looks a little bit different. For example, I got this filled out over here. 
I have all these ad accounts and I have these pages. And that's okay because I've been doing this. However, yours probably has a green button about here and probably a green button down there. That's because it's asking you to go ahead and add those pages. And if you already have a page and you want to add a second one, well, you can follow along as well. So this is how I add my Facebook page into my business manager. I go up here to business settings, which opens up a new window, and I go over here to pages. And then, yep, that's right, the blue button add. Now, a couple of things here. If you own the page, as in you are the administrator of the page, you can just simply click right here. Now, if you're an employee and you are going to be adding in your company's uh, Facebook page into the Ads Manager, there's a chance that you might actually have to request access. Um, if you're a smaller company, you, it's probably just tapping on the boss and having you make sure you're made as the admin on the Facebook page. If you're a larger company, uh, you might have to go to whoever does your internet marketing. And if you don't have a page at all, you can go right here, create a new page for business. Now, I'm going to be bringing in one of my pages that I already have, so I'm going to go up here. First thing you want to do is type in the name of the Facebook page or the URL of the Facebook page. This one right here is going to be called A86 Wolfpack. It's a car page. And I simply click Add Page. And we're done. Right there. As you can see from right here, um, you can also add people onto the page. Like say if you just like say if you want to add in an employee, you can do that really simply. You simply click Add People, and you simply start typing in their name. Uh, for example, this is my graphic designer. I would maybe add her on as page advertiser, moderator, editor, or admin. Usually, I really trust the person who is on the page with me, so I just simply make them an admin. It just it just makes it a lot easier. However, say if you're having a guest editor come on board or it's a lower level employee, go ahead and maybe bump them down a little bit. Because another thing, let me bring this back up. This is, I guess you could say, order of um, authority. For example, page admin can do anything, including deleting your page. And editor is a little bit weaker, a little bit weaker, and so on and so forth. Just some uh, little food for thought. So I'm going to go back to the main page we first landed on. So I just simply click the F right over here. And I simply scroll down and look. There it is. A86 Wolfpack. It's already there. Now up here, these are my ad accounts. Let's go ahead and set up one of these. We're going to go right back to business settings. And we're going to go here to ad accounts. and then we're going to click the add button. Now as before we have a couple of things to look for and this is actually really important to go through. So the first one is add an ad account. What's important about this is you would select this if you already have an ad account for Facebook. Okay. The next one is request access to an ad account. This is if you are a business uh, if you're an employee at a business and they have an ad account and you're requesting access. Or if you're like me who does this uh, freelance for business I and they already have an ad account, I would request access so I can do it. And the third option, which I go with, is create a new ad account. Now I'm going to go ahead and name this AE86 Wolfpack. And you can always change this name. I just like to name the ad accounts for the different pages that I'll use them for. Advertising behalf of Punchbowl, because that's my company's name. That's how I have it set up. And I simply create ad account. I can also go ahead and sign add other people to this. I'm going to go ahead and skip. Now, as you can tell, 
my account's right here, and I am the Big Kahuna on A86. However, if you want to make sure you want to add other people, like here, I'm going to add my partner. I'm going to make her an add account admin. I would save the changes. Furthermore, uh, if you notice that you're having trouble actually using your um, ad account that you created for creating ads, it might be that you need to be added onto the, your ad account. Typically, it should do it automatically, but you know, everything has a little bit of bugs in there. So since we got our ad account set up and our page set up, let's head back here and take a look at it. Hmm. That was a new thing. Okay, so there it is. A86 Wolfpack, the ad account. And from here, I can click right onto it. And this brings up the ad account system just for this, um, uh, just for that page. Now look, it's telling us before we can do anything, we got to pay for it because Facebook is a business. And I'm going to go over that very quickly. So you simply click on payment settings and add payment method. Here you can either add in your, your personal or your business card, PayPal, online bank, or Facebook coupon if you have one. And I wish I had one. <clears throat> Also down here, something I strongly recommend is to set your account spending limit. I always tell this to everyone. Make sure you have a mental budget of how much you want to spend on Facebook ads. It's really simple. You just simply put it in right there. So for example, I'll do $250. That means my ads will run until they hit $250. Best practices for me. I usually like to make sure I reset it at the beginning of each month. So that way I can kind of in my head make a mental note like, okay, the month of February will be $250. That's what I am willing to spend for ads. Now say if I want to put more into it, I just simply change. And I can actually go up. But there we have it. We are now set up to start running Facebook ads. Alright guys, I hope that helped out. Alright guys, I hope you found this video very helpful. If you do, I'd appreciate it immensely if you go ahead and subscribe. See you next time.